One of the biggest ethnic groups in the world is black people with a long history that is recorded even in the Bible. To many people's surprise, the Bible mentions the beginnings of Africans, including their rulers who were also black. In this video, we'll discover the biblical ancestors of Africans and all black people. All humans descended from Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the three of Noah as recorded in the Holy Bible. The same holds true for people of African descent, as well as other races with dark skin, whose ancestry comes from Ham, one of Noah's sons. Ham is the brother of Shem and Japheth, who respectively represent the Semitic peoples, Arabs, Jews, Syrians, Europeans, and Asians. People descended from Ham, one of Noah's sons, were initially referred to as Hamites or Hamit in the Bible. After the flood, Noah and his three sons were tasked with carrying on Adam and his father's lineage, according to the book of Genesis. Humanity needed to start over with just eight people, Noah, his wife, their three sons, and their three daughters-in-laws. It is accepted that Ham, Noah's son, is the ancestor of all Africans and all black people. In the Bible, his name is consistently connected to Africa. He is identified as the ancient Egyptian's progenitor in the Book of Psalms. Ancient Jewish stories, rabbinical traditions, and other ancient traditions all consistently identified Ham as the ancestor of African people. All interpretations of Ham's children refer to African countries and people. The name Ham in Hebrew, Aramaic, and other ancient languages means burned or dark in reference to the skin tone of his descendants. Verse 6 through verse 14 of Genesis 10 include additional details regarding Ham's lineage and the Hamite people. The scripture describes Mizraim, the father of the ancient Egyptians, and Cush, a descendant of Ham who is the father of various African people. Jews, Syrians, Arabs, and other peoples referred to Egypt as Mizraim in reference to its originator. Ham's other sons are put also known as Phut, Cush, and Canaan, who is the father of the Canaanites and not the Africans. Canaan stands for a unique land and people. Havila, Sabda, Sabteka, Rama, Seba, and Nimrod are the sons of Cush. The native inhabitants of ancient Babylon, the Sumerians, were descended from Nimrod, who went for Assyria and created two or three towns there. The Anamimites, Lahabis, Naphtuates, Patricids, and Casualites are among the North African peoples who make up the Luddites and descend from Mizraim. The Philistines and pickpockets came from these. Mizraim, the son of Ham, started numerous nations and peoples, including the Ethiopian people. Both the inhabitants of Nubia, also known as the Kingdom of Kush, and all Ethiopians are descended from the Kush. Kush, the son of Ham, gave birth to these people. The rebellious son of Kush, Nimrod, is regarded as the ancestor of the Sumerian people. Many other Africans, including Malians, Eritreans, Kenyans, Congolese, and the Bantus from Gabon, are also thought to be of Kush ancestry, as are the inhabitants of South India, including those who are native to the area. In the Bible, the word Kush is frequently used to refer to Ethiopia, Sudan, and Africa. Its literal meaning is Ethiopia or black. Kano and Mitrain, or the Mizrahi, were also descended from Kush. Ancient Egyptians and other North African ethnic groups, including the Berbers and the dark-skinned Torics, are said to be descended from the Mizrahi people. Egypt is referred to as Mizrahi by all Semitic peoples, including the Israelites, Arabs, and Arameans. Aramaic, Arabic, and Hebrew are just a few of the ancient languages that employ this term. Ham also had a son named Phut. The name Phut originates from the word that means landmark and is a reference to tribal hunters in Africa. Phut is regarded as the ancestor of numerous African peoples, including the native black Libyans of Libya. Let's now discuss the infamous Ham Canon curse. The punishment meted out to Ham or Canon in Genesis 9 has been misunderstood by many. According to the text, Ham did not assist Noah when he became drunk. Instead, he told his brothers that their father was drunk and naked to make fun of him. There are various ways to interpret this text, but that is not the main subject of this video. Noah placed a curse on one of Ham's sons, specifically on Canon. Today, the curse may seem like an exaggeration on Noah's part, but at that time the relationship of respect towards the father was something almost sacred. Noah may have been in the wrong for drinking, 
but it is understood that he would have done so unintentionally since when planting grapes, he would have unknowingly discovered wine and become intoxicated, which is why God spares him punishment. Ham and his other three children, Kush, Mizraim, and Phut, are originally from African peoples. Black people were not cursed, but Cain and father of the Canaanites who inhabited the Middle East. It was Canaan who received Noah's curse, not the African peoples. It is misleading and wrong to interpret the biblical text as if African peoples had been cursed. The curse fell on Canaan, the ancestor of the Canaanites. We know that Ham is the ancestor of all African and South Indian peoples, and he lived a very long life because he was born before the flood. He enjoyed a much longer lifespan, being able to witness even the fifth and sixth generation of his family and ancestry. Although there is no definite proof of Shem's exact age, because the biblical sources do not mention it, it is believed that he lived to be around 600 years old, and that he also lived to be that age or perhaps older. He likely hit the 600-year milestone like his brother. Although the exact location of Ham's tomb is unknown, various speculations and studies suggest that it could be in Nubia or even the Ethiopian region. Some suggest that he is interred in the country of the Sumerians, Mesopotamia. However, most people concur that Ham's tomb is in Africa, specifically in Ethiopia or Sudan. Some even claim he might be buried in Egypt, which is pretty intriguing and interesting given that Egypt is a country full of mysteries and people buried three or four thousand years ago are constantly being discovered. More details about Ham's old age Incidents involving Noah's family and the three lineages, the lineage of Ham, the lineage of Shem, and the lineage of Japheth, are given in the Book of Jubilee. According to the old Jewish book that was accepted as reliable during the time of Christ and even before, Ham had nothing but disapproval for his youngest son Canaan's choice to live in Shem's land, which is now known as Israel. Ham disagreed with Canaan's intention to claim the regions for himself. According to the Book of Jubilees, the brothers of Canaan, Cush and Mizraim, and their father Ham are said to have objected to Canaan's choice to settle in the land of Shem, which today corresponds to Israel. They gave him the order to leave the land because they consider Ham's ancestors to be entitled to all of Africa. Canaan, however, rebelled and persisted in living there, disregarding his father's and his brother's order. Still, according to the Book of Jubilees, Ham founded the first province as well as the first city. He named the city after his wife. Many Africans and black people believe that they've been cursed, and there's nothing they can do about it. We hope that this video has shown that this is completely wrong. Even history tells us that civilization began in Africa and Africans were very organized in their ways of governance and doing business. Subscribe to the new tourist channel and turn on notifications to get alerts when we upload more interesting videos like this one. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.